Well, good morning. Today our song is Little Brown Church in the Vale. We're spending a lot of remembrance this weekend about Labor Day and this song brings back a lot of memories for me and those of you who may have gone uh, to a little church or school in the country. The Little Brown Church in the Vale sits in a beautiful park alongside Highway 218 in the town of Bradford in Northern Iowa, but it wasn't there where the song was written. A New York native named William Pitts, he's about 27 years old, was traveling by stagecoach from his home in Wisconsin to Fredericksburg, Iowa to see his girlfriend. It was a bright afternoon in 1857. When the stagecoach made a pit stop in Bradford, Pitts took a stroll among the trees to stretch his legs. The gently sloping hills formed a slight valley and the Cedar River flowed peacefully by. That grove of trees, it seemed to Pitts, would be the perfect setting for a church. Unable to erase the scene from his mind, Pitts returned home and composed the words and music to Little Brown Church in the Vale. Nothing came of the song, however, and he just filed it away. Five years later, Pitts, now married to his sweetheart, relocated to Iowa to be near his elderly in-laws and to teach music at Bradford Academy. Imagine his surprise when he saw a church building sitting in the very spot he had previously envisioned. Christians in the community, growing tired of meeting in abandoned stores, had determined to build a church. The Civil War was raging and times were hard, but by 1862 the building was up. It had to be painted using the cheapest color, which was brown. When Pitt saw the little brown church in the Vale, he rushed home and found Little Brown Church in the Vale packed away among his papers. He sang his hymn at the building's dedication in 1864. Soon afterward, he sold his manuscript to a publisher in Chicago for $25. He used the money to enroll in Rush Medical College, and William spent the rest of his life as the town physician in Frederickstown, Iowa, about 14 miles from Bradford. Today, the Little Brown Church boasts a membership of about 100, but it's best known for the hundreds of weddings and thousands of tourists who flock there each year to see the church in the valley by the Wildwood, the Little Brown Church in the Vale. So please visit us again next Monday for another new Cheryl's Cherry Timps. If you have a favorite, let us know and we'll be happy to look it up for you.